Welcome.
came. That's Commander Ferguson of the civilian army. He's also on the police force. They're arguing about something. Let's check it out. We don't get oil soon. We'll all be riding horses again. I can't run my business or my life without Trump mobiles. While we sit here discussing the problem, gas prices are skyrocketing. Everyone needs to calm down. We are still trying to negotiate a compromise, but they are stalling. It seems they're building a battleship in order to seize control of the desert. And our information implies they will attack Happy Garland after that. That's all the more reason to hurry. In theory, yes, but we'd be fools to attack without adequate preparation. We must concentrate on building the SS Symphony. We don't stand a chance without it. What's wrong, Commander? Everyone has grown impatient. If I weren't here, they'd charge into battle right now. Who is this? I'm Vanilla. Nice to meet you. Oh, you're... I've heard rumors. You entered that tournament and defeated Dudley. The civilian army needs more men like you. What do you say? Care to join? What's in it for me? Hmm. It's a volunteer army, so we can't pay you. However, you can eat as much as you want, and any gas we have is free. But remember, these are all donated by the people, so I'd rather not waste them. So, how does the civilian army sound? Sounds good. I'm in. Excellent. I'll be counting on you. I have just the job for you. Whatever I can do to help, sir. It's appreciated. As you know, we are preparing for a final battle, but we would prefer no battle at all. I'm sending someone to negotiate a treaty, and I'd like you to escort him. This is our last resort. If it fails, then we will declare war. You'll need to equip your trotmobile with a carriage. Let me know when you're ready. You, you seem to be doing well. At the moment, I'm pretty hungry. Oh, really? Well, here, have some of this. But this is bigger than I could have imagined. It's a real war going on. Do we really have to take it this far? I don't want these kids to end up like my husband. They're saying we'll run out of gas if we don't fight. But I grew up without any of that. It's not like we couldn't live without it. Oh, <sighs> maybe I'm just getting old. But never mind that. How far have you and Connie gone? Uh, we're in a band together. If you ask me, I think she's got a thing for you. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Oh, best of luck to you. At any rate, stop by whenever you're hungry and I'll sneak you a treat.
already, hmm? This is our negotiator, Klein. He's a lawyer, but we won't hold it against him. <laughs> it's nice to meet you. I'm sure they'll accept our reasonable treaty. Their base is an oil field they captured southwest of here. I've marked it on your map, so you can check there if you get lost. Who goes there? I'm here to speak with the leader of the Bloody Mantis. The commander will see you now. Only the negotiator may proceed. Don't worry about me. Just stick around here and wait a bit. Eh? You're... It is you. But don't you remember? I'm Comfrey, the recruiter. What brings you here? I brought the lawyer who's going to negotiate a peace treaty. Oh, so that's who that guy was. I wonder how it'll turn out. But never mind that. What about you? You really should change sides, my boy. I still haven't given up on you. Why not become one of us? What do you say? No way! I'd never join you! Oh well, I suppose the next time we meet it will be on opposite sides. Please leave once your lawyer friend returns. We are now officially enemies. Hey! No luck. I don't think they ever really intended to negotiate. But still, I can't believe it. The bloody Mantis! Did you see that battleship? It's terrifying! The civilian army's battleship looks even better. You think so too, huh? Yeah, nothing will beat the SS Symphony. Let's head back. 
We'll need to inform the commander. 